Hey everyone, today I'm seriously excited to talk to you about the Hunter HPC 400 controller. Now, if you're looking to overhaul your garden's irrigation system or just make some upgrades, stick around because you won't want to miss this complete review. A quick backstory. I had the Proceed controller for a good while, but it quit working about three years in. At that point, I found myself in the market for a new controller. I stumbled upon the Hunter HPC 400 and after some debate, I decided to go for it. Let me tell you, I'm so glad I made that decision. Um, the Hunter HPC 400 is incredibly user-friendly. Sure, there are controls on the front of the unit, but I find it so much easier to handle everything through the phone app it comes with. The moment I set up the app, it completely changed how I manage my garden's watering schedule. I hardly ever touch the physical controls anymore, and that's a testament to how good the app is. Let me walk you through how the controller and app work together. The basic unit comes with a four station module, but because I have 13 different zones in my garden, I bought an additional nine station module. Extending some wires was all it took to get everything hooked up, and once that was done, I've had zero issues. It's been absolutely reliable. The app itself is incredible. It's easy to install and even easier to use. I've got it both on my phone and my tablet. The interface shows all 16 zones, although I only use 13 of them. One of the best features is the ability to control each zone individually as you walk around your yard. There's no need to run back to the controller every time you want to make a change. It's all right there in your pocket. One thing I particularly miss from my old controller was the weather sensor. It would automatically turn off the irrigation if it sensed rain. The HPC 400, however, uses data from weather stations to make irrigation decisions. This is honestly more accurate and convenient. The system can decide whether your garden needs watering or if Mother Nature has it covered. This smart feature saves water and keeps my garden looking vibrant and healthy. And then we have the programs. Setting up different watering schedules is so intuitive. I have three main programs running throughout the year. In the summer, I have a custom program that runs a bit longer than the others. With this system, if you're someone who needs to test individual zones, the app makes it straightforward. You can start and stop each zone without any hassle, using just your phone or tablet. I've even set up special routines for those rare days when we have extremely high temperatures. Speaking of ease, the installation process is worth mentioning. From removing my old controller to installing the Hunter HPC 400, it took me roughly an hour and a half. The instructions are great, and the app guides you through most of the setup. I can't stress enough how painless the whole process was. Even if you're not particularly handy, you'll find it manageable. What about durability and reliability? I've had zero problems so far. From the sturdy build to the consistently responsive app, everything works as it should. I haven't encountered any glitches or hiccups. Um, one more thing I love about the HPC 400 is the level of control and insight it gives you. You can monitor the status of each zone, adjust settings on the fly, and even get notifications about the system's performance. This means you're always in the loop, and it helps you fine-tune your watering schedule to better suit your garden's needs. So, to sum it all up, the Hunter HPC 400 controller has been a fantastic investment for my garden. From its easy installation to the user-friendly app and robust set of features, it offers everything I was looking for in an irrigation controller. If you're considering upgrading or replacing your current system, I highly recommend giving the Hunter HPC 400 a shot. Thanks so much for watching my review. If you found this helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more product reviews and gardening tips. Feel free to leave any questions or comments below and I'll make sure to get back to you. Happy gardening, everyone.